Tice taking centre stage this week in Parliament, in court and on Joburg streets. Indeed, the police committee will hold hearings into cash and transit heists. Suspects in the recent Boxburg and Pulaguana cases are due in court. And tomorrow, CIT guards will embark on protest action, highlighting what they are calling an industry in crisis. And on the eve of this march, we speak to security guards who looked down the barrel of a gun almost daily. Also in another exclusive SABC News report, uh, senior reporter Chriselle De Lewis and cameraman Ngabi Njungkweni went uh, out onto the streets to show you just how easy it is to get hold of powerful explosives commonly used in these daring robberies. They bought the bombs from a former illegal miner in Gauteng. He confirmed that they're sourced from the country's mines. Gauteng has the highest number of heists recorded since January, and it stands at 61. And this could explain why. Brazen cash van bombings, at least one every day in the country. SABC News can reveal just how easy it is to buy explosives used in these robberies. If you the money, you can get them. Meet our source, who agreed to buy them from a kingpin operating with syndicates at Gauteng Mines. He tells us he couldn't risk taking us there, and then confirms popular theory that the explosives are smuggled from underground. Risk is too risky, Bozi. Those people, they will go after me, they will think maybe I may sell out. Because you see these things, it's like they come from the mines and in Soviet as you see the operation of more than 10 to 20 people for the person from the mine to up to, down to outside to sell him. He also tells us how easily obtainable they are. They don't even ask you what you want to use them. If you the man, you can get them. Anywhere in the country. What I can tell you is that they might be from this, the eastern mines. You see, just like I told you before, mm -hmm. this thing comes from everywhere around South Africa. Malanga, KZ, Rustenburg, where wherever there are mines, are mines. Wherever there are mines, you see. He then produces the goods with a lesson on how to detonate the explosives also used in ATM bombings. You see, they cut here and they put this thing, this whole thing, they put it inside this thing mm -hmm. until it gets here, you see, mm -hmm. this place. So, on the car, they just find the way there's a gap like this one. Just the way there's enough gap so that you can, you can put this one. It must, it must be tight. You must put it tight. So when they put it tight, they mostly may be using on the two sides, this other side of the car and this other side of the car, you see. Okay. So the, this thing mostly, it can take five minutes to blow up. But the problem, you can't, you can just witness it light, you can't witness it blow because it will harm you. You can only hear the sound, you can't even witness when it blow because if you witness it's obvious you'll be, you'll be hit. We then talk money. It depends. Sometimes if they are scarce, you can get them at 500, depending on what you are, if they were, were, which area you are in. You can just buy them, you see. And monies change hands. SABC News wouldn't risk demonstrating how powerful these explosives are when detonated, even though we're in a secluded mining area, while well, there's still concern that someone could get hurt. Unions point a finger at poor security at mines. It all revolves around intelligence gathering. It's shocking that, I mean, the way you describe how easy it was. So it points to very lax, I mean, security measures, especially the mine. So it means that, that I mean, the, 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 the mine security itself is up, to no, is up to no standard, really. It can take five minutes to blow up. A UNISA criminologist also alludes to poor control in the mining sector. So they put it this also corroborates with my study because the participants did say that they bought the explosives from either the legal miners or illegal miners. And your informant also does say that the legal miners 
actually do do ask people to sell these explosives for them. And uh, but we also need to be mindful of the fact that miners are not the only people who are using explosives. So you have people in the construction company who have to blast like buildings and rocks. We need to also look into construction and do investigation and see. You might also find that there are people from construction who are giving their cash and transit um, robbers these, the, these explosives. Last week, several attempts to get an on-camera response from the Minister of Mineral Resources, Gwede Mantashe, failed. He only responded on Sunday, referring us to the Chamber of Mines. Cash heists are a complex criminal operation involving a web of role players. A multi-pronged strategy is required. But for now, law enforcers have had limited success. If the current trend is anything to go by, expect a few more this week. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News, in Johannesburg.